Hey guys, so today I decided that I am going to be doing a first quarter clean out. We just finished up our first quarter. We've actually done one week into our second quarter and then we took a month long break. So we've been off all of this December and we are going back in two days, you guys. I have definitely been putting this off <laughs> Four days now but I know it has to be done I have a few videos that I'll be recording over the weekend for you guys so I hope that you guys enjoy that if you haven't subscribed already make sure you hit that red subscribe button down below give me a like if you like this video and leave me a comment you guys let me know how long you guys had your break off if you had to do a clean out my school room I feel like is just like crazy you guys everywhere I mean it's it's crazy, but it's not. Like I have old curriculum that I have to move out, different books that we've already read. I just have a lot of organizing. The carts look like a disaster. I have things in my cart that I'm not using anymore. So I wanted to do this clean out. I wanted to take you guys along with me just for a little bit of inspiration, motivation, try to get you guys up if you feel the same way I do. Like I said, I have not been wanting to do this. I have been putting it off, so I figured I might as well film it and then have you guys maybe get some motivation from watching this. So, yeah, so I've made a list, and let's see. I have to make lists because I always forget things. Now, things will probably get added to this list, or I'll just find myself doing more than what I have on this list. Um, but on the list for today, I have to empty out our science container, which is this three drawer, um, cat, not cabinet, the little containers here, those have our science supplies for our first quarter. We're going to be moving into ecosystems and I already have everything organized and put into baggies per lesson. So I just have to move everything out of there. And then I think I'll be moving this stuff in when I'm actually planning, prepping and creating for school to start so this is basically cleaning everything up so i'll just be taking that stuff out today and then i have to go through all the books because our bookcase here is super full and i can't really fit anything in there and i have some new books that i want to put in there so i need to remove the books that we've already read as like readers or our supplemental history books um, or our Bible books that we've already read. So I'm going to pull those out, put them in our family room bookcase so that we still have them, but they're just not taking up the space in our homeschool. Um, and then that's pretty much it. I think, I think I will go through some of the little, I have like a filing organizer over there and I think that that's it, you guys. So I'm just going to tidy up. Um, I've already vacuumed, but I do have to dust like everywhere is just kind of crazy. So let's go ahead and get started. grab some sort of bin and I'll just throw random stuff into it. I do this even when I'm straightening up the house. I'll grab like a laundry basket or one of our little buckets that we have and I'll just throw the stuff from every room in there that doesn't belong and then I'll walk through the house and I'll put stuff away and that's what I'm doing here in the school room um, because there's like random stuff just like everywhere so I'm just going to throw it all in here and then I will put everything away at the end of the day. So now you guys, I'm going to go through my daughter's cart. It's looking pretty crazy. There's stuff in here that we are not gonna be using um, that she's already used. And I wanna kind of clear that out just so that if we have anything that we have to add to it, there's room for it. What, what in the world is this doing here? I have no idea. That's garbage though. It's broke. That stays. That stays. This goes. Around.
So you guys, when we do our US presidents, the kids are doing, um, let's see here. I did this little booklet for them and it has each president in here. And then they are to draw the presidents here and the food that the presidents like or the animal, they get to choose what they wanna draw with it. And they usually work through these two books and then they also do um, like a YouTube video. And I had purchased this from the dollar spot at Target. And so whenever they get through a president, they just stick it on their cart, just like that. So that's like an added fun thing. cart is done I still have two to go um, but her cart looks so much better what do you guys typically put in your cart do you guys use like art supplies is it just what you guys are working through do you guys use it what do you guys use it for I'd like to know we use it for like a lot of her books because we have some up there but um, those are more like supplement type things but I really like keeping the books that we use pretty much every day in here in her little workbooks and stuff and her flashcards, stuff like that. So I kind of just, instead of, cause her desk is already super crowded. So I love this little cart and she can pull it around if she wants to. So I love it. So let's move on. So her desk is pretty much done. It's ready. I'm not doing a super crazy like clean out, just preparing it for our second quarter. So let's move on. Let's keep this rolling you guys. So I basically just kind of organize this because it always gets mixed up and I like to have it kind of in order. So I basically put like her bigger binders here that she's working through. So these are like charts for math. These are her colored papers that she likes to use. This is her science. And then here I have all of like her math supplements here that we work through. And then we have all of her like language, writing, reading type of stuff here. And then this is all Bible related. And then she has like clipboards and like whiteboards and stuff like that here. Um, so yeah, so her area is pretty much done for now. I'm just adding more stuff to our little container so that I can put everything away. So that thing is piling so Next up is my son's area. So I need to clean out this cart here. It's kind of crazy. Um, I want to pull the books that we've already gone through here and any binders that we don't need and then I need to kind of clean off this and figure out because those are sensory toys that he got for Christmas. He has more but that's like what we have at his desk to play with. I need to organize this area for him and um, see if I need to get rid of any of this stuff that's in his side pocket here and that's pretty much it over in this corner. <music> I was never the one to write up a song for just anyone I, I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations Oh, cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting But then you came along and proved me all wrong, I was so mistaken Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free, oh my sweet baby I was never the one to give up the ghost, no, I was so stuck I kept on playing my part, wanted to give up cause nothing was changing but with you it's so clear And now that you're here I see colors in every spectrum Guess I finally learned my lesson Cause you glue all the pieces back together Yeah you, you take all my wrongs and make them better Yeah you, you're making me wanna try forever And I feel so free Oh my sweet baby
myself and I'm thinking out loud we won't need nothing all right you guys do not judge this pile of cords I don't know what to do with them so I have them hiding in this corner now all of this stuff is from our kingdoms and classifications for the microscope oh my gosh there's Isaiah's butterflies he was looking for those um, but all of this stuff my sister takes care of science so I'm gonna have to see what she wants to do with all of that stuff. So I'm gonna just dust this off real quick because it is super dirty. Cause you glue all the pieces back together. Yeah, you, you take all my wrongs and make them better. Yeah, you, you're making me wanna try forever I feel so free Oh my sweet baby empty their garbage cans before school was out a month ago. What is this? This is my oldest niece's. This is my youngest niece's. And this is my daughter's. So, so none of them listened, none of them. So if you guys are feeling alone, like the kids don't hear you or listen, or they say, okay, and then they don't do something and you're feeling alone, mama, you're not alone. You're not alone. But I'm just gonna empty it. I'm gonna give them a hard time about it on Monday though, that's for sure. Be like, so, did anybody empty their garbage cans? Um, kids, I tell you kids, I'm gonna go throw this away. I literally almost died, you guys. So I saw this on the garbage and I thought it was bubble gum. And then I was like, that can't be bubble gum because we don't give them bubble gum like that. And then I realized that my niece, she's so cute. She must use it to prop it open so she can just throw the garbage inside. So it's literally like, yeah, so. I thought that it was gum for a second. I was gonna have to talk to her. Okay, so I'm gonna go through the stuff here on the table. I grabbed a little bag that I could throw garbage away. And meantime, so this is going to my garage because we're already done with that stuff. But like these, you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm gonna uh, recycle these and reuse them. If I plan on um, organizing our science next year, I'll be able to reuse those. Cause I don't wanna waste. And maybe I could recycle all of this stuff. This goes to our garage. All right, so I just grabbed my supply list for our ecosystems, and I'm just gonna go through it and see if I need any of this stuff. So what I may do is I see that it asks for a sponge, and I'm pretty sure that I saved the sponges, or I have sponges in the other kit, but I'm just going to stick a sponge in each one of these bags that I just took the label off of and I'm gonna make this their miscellaneous bag that has like the colored pencils and stuff like that and I'll hold on to these and then I'll throw this paper away and keep the ziploc when we wake hear the birds and see the sun Side by side, our fears are done. All oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. 
do not judge this drawer, you guys. I clean this all the time, I swear. And then I just throw stuff back in here. So this is always a drawer that looks crazy. Oh my gosh, I really don't wanna clean it right now, but I can't even get to anything because it is in complete chaos in here, you guys. What is all this? What is all this? What is this? Look at, what is that, you guys? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is spilling. Well, I guess I'm doing a little bit more. I told you I'd be adding stuff to my list. That always seems to happen. done for my first quarter cleanup. So over here at my daughter's desk, all of her stuff up top is ready for her. She can reorganize what she wants there if she would like. And I have to do her planning for tomorrow for the week. Um, her cart is all ready for her. It's organized and ready. I did pull in this little crate in from the garage. Um, when I do my video tomorrow, I have to pull stuff out that we need from there for this coming up week. Moving over here to my son's area, his is all ready. I just have to prep out all of his work. That's gonna be done tomorrow. Um, his cart is all ready. I went through the bookshelf. So all of the books in there are new books that he has not read yet. Um, again, I'm gonna be putting his stuff in here for this coming up week tomorrow. Um, the table's all clean and ready. My cart's clean and ready. Over here, Juliana's desk is now ready for her. I emptied out the garbages for the kids. Um, she's just gonna have to pull her books forward because I pushed them back to get the front of the shelves cleaned and dusted. She's gonna have to go through her cart because I'm not quite sure um, what all they need and don't need. I decided against pulling the books out of this bookshelf. I'm gonna leave them there. Um, if I find that I don't have enough room for our other books, then I'll go ahead and move some of them out to the family room. My cart is completely ready. I do have to do all my planning. The stuff is there and I will, I think I'll have a couple books that I have to add to um, the top here with whatever we're gonna be working through this coming up week. My sister's cart she'll take care of. I didn't have to add anything to our cabinet here. <laughs> the kids put those pictures up there of themselves. Um, I went ahead and cleaned there, got that all ready. I still have to move everything into there for this next quarter's science. That fell over, that's okay. Um, I did do something extra and I cleaned out that drawer there, but all the other drawers are in complete chaos. Look, I forgot this one. Um, Oh wait, this goes here. See, I was already messing it up, you guys. Um, Ari's cart's gonna have to be the way it is. Her area's all cleaned off. This is ready. This I do have to do um, tomorrow. I have to figure out some of that stuff's my sister's for the kids. And I am gonna be doing more report cards, so I'm hoping that I can show you guys how I do that in one of my upcoming videos. Um, but I just wanna make sure that I can explain it correctly to you guys. But that is it, you guys. The area is completely cleaned out and ready to go ahead and start on Monday. All right, you guys, thanks for hanging out. Don't forget to hit that subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope that you guys had a wonderful New Year's. All right, be safe, be blessed, and I will see you next time. If the wind could spread your love What if your sweetness could reach everyone There'd be no wars, 